Hi guys, so I want to show you an indicator that I like to use and this indicator would help you to make a profit as long as you know how to follow the directions that I'm going to show you. So this is just, for example, a stock that I'm hold up here, which is PANW and Let's pull up this indicator. We'll go to indicators and you look up the trader EXO trade trend. So EXO trend and it comes up here, Charlie trader EXO macro trend scanner. You click on that and then you'll see here it shows you the lines that it has on this trade. So for the uptrend, you have the green line on the bottom is faster than the top line, which is the slow EMA. And this is the fast EMA and the one on the bottom. The top one is the slow EMA and the bottom line is the fast EMA which is the estimated moving average line. So if we go back a little bit, we'll see here where you have an uptrend. From here, it shows you where this line crossed. So it came all the way from the top here. Also, this, uh, this indicator tells you when it's bare versus when it's full. So you just have to be careful to make sure you look at the green versus the red. So for example, the bull shows you the little green arrows and the bear shows you the little red arrow down. And if you can look here and see, it says bear on here and it says bear on the top there. And then at the bottom is usually goes with bull. It'll show you because going up would be bulls and coming down would be bears. So if you had started this trend trade here, trend, it's in a bear zone. This is where you could make some profit. However, it's kind of consolidated here. But then as we go along, we could see that it says bull here and it goes up and then it comes down. So, and then we have an audible, which started right here above the line when the line turned green. So both lines turn green when it's getting to a bull and the lines turn red when it's going to bear zone. But there's another indicator that is advisable to use with this one indicator. And that indicator is called the MACD. So on the MACD, we'll change the settings on this. We'll just put the settings at the style. Okay. So underneath we have the slow length, which is 12 here. I mean, the slow length is 26 and the fast length is 12. So you can change this up however you want, but we'll leave it for now. But as you could see here, this gives you confirmation that's on a downtrend from here on this indicator all the way down here. And then it shows you an uptrend. So it's like a confirmation that it's an uptrend and it went above that zero. So anything below that zero coming down here, it's not safe, but when it turns green, it starts to go above here. So
Okay. There's a indicator that goes well with this Trader Excel. And that indicator is called the EMA, the Moving Average Exponential. So let's click on it. And on the EMA, we'll go to the settings and we'll go here and change the length to 200, 200 day. And we'll change the style of the line to white. All right, so now we can see it clearly. So anything below this line is on a downtrend right here. So looking at your five, let's look at the five minutes. The thing is with this, the thing is with this indicator, you can use it on the one minute, the five minute, the 50 minute, or the 30 minute. And it's actually the same. So let's look in at the five minutes. We can see as we zoom out, that anything below, anything below the line is in a downtrend, if you could see here. And as it goes up, it becomes a uptrend. So here we go again. Although it's red here, it was still an uptrend until it got here to this point, and then it dropped. And then it, it started going even further down as you can see it's below that line so you don't want to trade any calls up in this space right here you want to go with puts and then as you could see here it says bull here it started so these were all like fake out bulls where it said because it was still under the line it did not hit you know, all the way through the line. So you would not use that as a trade to go long. You would definitely stay out of the market or buy puts on here. But where it says here, bull, it hit the line and passed that line. So when it get over the line is when you would buy into your long position. So from here, you can go long and as you could see so you could have made a profit from all the way here all the way as it goes up even though it come down here it did not hit the line so it was above well above the line here so you could have stayed in that trade without getting faked out and just stayed all the way here so that will be a profit from two six to nine here all the way to 284 and then when it comes down here with bear and it hits the line and comes through you want to make sure you set your step stop loss and then you could see here you could get into put puts because it came down past the line the ema line which is this white line we drew here and it came all the way down to the bottom here and this, as we could see, this is just recently as in April, this, we have this position here with PANW started going up again and it came down here, but it did not cross the line. So it kept going up again. It came back and then went up again. It came down again and went up again. So, but then it broke down here so now we have this week in where it went above the line so it's bullish and if you could see here i'm trying to see if i could bring up where it says bull on here let's change the bull signs to white that way you could see it 
and the bear to let's go with orange actually the ball to white yeah and the bear to orange okay oh it doesn't show here so i have to change these back i have to make the screen so bull is green we'll change the color back and bear is red all right so i'm gonna switch it over to the whites background for you to see the little signs that I was just talking about. So color team, light, oof, it's bright. But now you could see where I switched over and you could see where it says bull and bear. So this indicator comes with the bull and bear signs, except now you can't really see the EMA close. But you could see it if I put the change the color of the line, which I will change it. So we have the line as orange now. So we could see it here under this that it's a bull hair trend. And it's going up. So this is today. I'm in this trade. Yes, I'm in profit. I started this trade here. I started this trade just on Monday when it got through this line here. And I'm still in the trade. I'm holding on to it. It kept going back down to this 281. Keep hitting 281. So I knew it was going to break out. And it did right here. As you could see. So I'm just going to switch back. To the color team dark because it's better on the eyes and as you could see the lines remain together now the the lines so, so this is the same ema line and as you could see, it is EMA 200 close, the one that I drew here. You just go, you type into your indicators for EMA, and then you go to your uh, settings on the bottom here, and inputs, and you go to length, and you add, you change it from whatever number it had to 200, and hit OK to get this line. So yeah, that's it for that one. And let's look at coin. I heard some good things about coin. So let's take a look at coin today. Today coin was, um, so here we could see that coin, for example, was on a downtrend right here. Last Friday, we see here that coin hit the line and come down so when you see it hit this line you can get into puts once it's coming across the line once it hits across this line and you can get into puts here because it because it's below this moving average is you know exponential moving average line so you could have been in puts all the way down here so where this red line is, because as you see, when you're in puts again, the lines are red, the double lines, the fast line, the slow line, the top line is the slow line, the bottom red line is the fast line. So you could have stayed in puts all the way from 252 all the way down here to 36. And then it kept making another low here. So about the same right and then it started going back up so right now coin is above that line which is a bullish trend as you could see here and so coin is on an uptrend 
So because it's above the line, so it's in a bullish trend. And here is the bull sign right there. They show you the bull sign versus this one says bear. So the bear is the red arrow and the bull is the green arrow, if you see here. So there is some close greens and reds together, but don't get confused. Make sure you always keep your eyes on this line. This is the 200 day moving average line. So you want to be above it when you're going on a long call versus if you're using puts, you wanna be below the line. So this is on Coinbase. And if we look at the 50 minutes on those times, those dates, we would see the same friend. So we know that this is a great indicator to use. Again, it's a great indicator to use for your trades that you can use for your trades. Here is a 30 minute. It is looking the same, looks the same. So this is like confirmation that this trade is going to an up trend. It passed the line, it went out of the line as you could see here, it went above the white line, the moving average line. You can change this color line if you want also by going to settings and style and you can easily change it to whichever color you want for example you can change it to yellow and it changed right here whichever one works for you is fine so yes but um this is a great indicator to use you will find a lot of success using for example there's so many indicators but this is a great one to use because it helps you to stay in the trend so you will be able to spot if it's an uptrend versus if it's a downtrend so when it comes over the line it's a downtrend that you can be sure to see uh the difference when looking and using these two indicators so here is where coin was how many days ago was this this was in february and it was on an uptrend since february the 9th and it came down a little bit to 167 so it started here at 132 went all the way up to 188 came down to 165 and kept going up kept going up it had little ups and downs but the, the price kept going up so you could have made a good profit in a trade like this using this indicator so once again this is the trader exo macro trend scanner so you can try to use this also um don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this thank you